To any kids watching this video, let me tell you firsthand that biting someone is not how you get a loose ball. Let me explain. What's going on, Fumble Family? It's your boy Chris, but you can also find me over on my YouTube channel, CK2K, but make sure you subscribe right here, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to like this video. Now, I've seen a lot of things in the basketball world. I saw Team Mac drop 13 points in 33 seconds. Devin Harris make a half court shot after fumbling the ball with only a second left. Hell, we all remember how many times Kobe made a shot from behind the backboard. Basketball can be an unpredictable sport. And this, this only helps my argument. Over the weekend, Houston played against Cincinnati, but the score got overshadowed by this action that Houston guard DeJon Giroux did while trying to get a loose ball. Scrum for that loose ball and watch Giroux. And right there, allegedly, as per the official. That man got a whole mouthful of calf while trying to get the ball. What got me confused is why was that your first thought? He clearly went face first into my guy's calf and then decided to pick up the ball. As you'd expect, Giroux was ejected from the game and has also been suspended for a game to no one's surprise. To add insult to injury, his team lost to the Cougars 64-62. Initially, Houston coach Kevin Sampson thought Dijon did not intentionally buy Diara's leg, but after seeing it in every angle, he made this statement. After further reviews from multiple angles, it can clearly be seen that Dijon Giroux bit Mamadou Diara. I reached out to Cincinnati head coach John Brandon this morning and apologized on behalf of our basketball team. Our program is built on discipline and behavior like that will not be tolerated. With that in mind, I've chosen to suspend Dijon for Thursday's game against Tulane. I am confident Dijon will learn from this incident and the consequences of his actions. This is definitely a first, but like I said, basketball is very unpredictable. What is the craziest thing you have ever seen ever in a basketball game. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. It's me, your boy Chris. Catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.